Hey, what's up guys? Wanted to give you an update on my uh, no water change experiment. I'm going on about four months now, since July, uh, without a water change. I was asked uh, how are my corals doing, how's the tank doing in general, and shockingly enough, it's, uh, it's doing quite well, uh, extremely well. I do maintain my, uh, my supplements, you know, I, I dose daily uh, uh, BRS is two part, the alkalinity, calcium, uh, magnesium not every day but every once in a while, believe it or not. <clears throat> and then the rest of the products that I put in there that I've shown in other videos, my last video and stuff. And um, well, let me just show you how the corals are doing. See how everything is uh, fully extended. My torch coral back there, my acans, my brain coral, look how puffy he is. All my uh, zoanthas. Check these out. These Montes uh, have really taken off. They're starting to plate upwards, which is really cool. Uh, and the green one's starting to go through the orange one. Just it's going to look nice later on. That's the Acro I bought the other day, guys, uh, at Pet World from the video. I just haven't had a chance to, uh, to show you guys. Really nice piece, pretty big. Came with an Acro crab. Poor thing, I almost killed it. Uh, I dip all my corals, put it in a revive, and then figured out it was in there and had to get tweezers and, and pull them out without killing them. And uh, he made it. He actually made it. I put him back on the base of the rock of the coral and crawled right back into it. And there he is. He's been there ever since. Doing well. I don't know if you guys can see him, but he's right there. Uh, look at my mushrooms. How puffy they are, too. My Zoe's here. Check out my cup coral. Look at all the polyps. Another puffy uh, brain coral, how puffy he is. Check out the acro. Look at the tips. It's just taking off, doing well. I'm sure you, I don't know if you can see the polyps moving. You know, looking good. Pink digitata overtook already the plug it came on. It's encrusted all over the rock. That's pretty cool. Uh, my cabbage coral also encrusted. Um, attached himself to the rocks. Check out this one, this acro. Look at the base. It's uh, encrusting already. Look at the polyps extended. Pretty cool. The one with the most growth has got to be the bird's nest. Check him out. This guy will get out the way. Wonderful. See everything. All the corals are doing well. Hammer curl, coral. But yeah, guys, uh, I know it sounds crazy four months without a water change, but it's working out for me. I'm not sure if anybody else has tried this before or, or what. I'd love to hear from you. But everything's looking good. Let me give you guys a little side view. Pretty cool, man. How uh, everything is doing so well. Also, took out about another 20 pounds, 15 to 20 pounds of rock from uh, right under the acro, where that acro is at. Two larger rocks took them out and had to redo it again. So I'm up to about 50, 60 pounds of rock being removed, which I think looks better. Uh, you know, I had uh, the rocks going almost all the way to the top of the water. Eh, now it looks a little nicer. You guys tell me. But anyway, guys, my experiment's going well. I wouldn't recommend it for anybody. God forbid something would happen to your tanks. Uh, but it is working for me. And uh, tell me what you think about it. All right, guys, as, as always, thank you for watching. Thanks. Have a good one.